time for talk music and some Afro beats. We have joining us live in studio and for the first time on Jump Starts, Mr. Martin Messiah. He's been busy with music and with local artists and that fancy drone taking out really nice videos. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Mosley. <laughs> How are you doing, Martin? I'm welcome good, to Jump Start. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. I really appreciate it's it. It's your first time here, so there's a big welcome. We forgot the confetti. We usually have confetti and horns and trumpets uh, and everything else. Oh, well, we can see. <laughs> next, next time, time. <laughs> next time I'm going to come. So tell us about this new project because we were talking off microphone and you were telling me about this new project yeah. that uh, you're involved in that deals with uh, Afrobeats music and sort of that sort of yeah, stuff so, in Guyana. So um, we're pioneering Afrobeats in Guyana right now and uh, under the name Emmy. And uh, yeah, that's my artist name. But what we're doing is we're, kind, we're pushing Guyanese culture internationally. Uh -huh. Right now, the world is looking at Guyana. We need to be able to define what a Guyanese is. Yeah. People are saying, you know, people know what a Jamaican is. People know what a Trinidadian is. People need to know right now what a Guyanese is. So the entire idea behind David Dance is to, to not only celebrate this new age, a decade, and century of development, development for Guyana, but also to put Guyana out there in a really unique way that hasn't been done before. Because that's important because, you know, we were talking all about this oil industry and we we're inviting visitors here. We were on the Today Show, uh, at least uh, two international travel magazines uh -huh. have named Guyana as one of the best places to visit this year. Uh, the, I think it's the Telegraph newspapers in the UK also naming Guyana as the number one place to visit. So when people come, yeah. they want to taste of the Guyanese culture, not yep. just the food. They want to enjoy the music, the arts, the culture. And so David Dance and your project will sort of fit into that. De definitely. And especially, I, I could even speak about about uh, being studying overseas, studying uh -huh. in, in Dubai, in China, in all of these places that have been able to benefit a lot from tourism, you could see that people come to Guyana or people are going to come to Guyana for something different. They're going to come to Guyana for something that stands out. They don't want us to copy their system. Yeah. They want to see what a Guyanese is, what Guyanese culture is, and we need to package it in a way that is not only attractive and beautiful, but in a way that it could be commercialized to our benefit. So tell us more about David Dance. When I hear that, so when I hear the name, when I saw the name of the song, I remember the Bible scripture that talks about David Dance, Dance, uh -huh. David Dance. So a lot of people, uh, it surprised me when I started <laughs> off. <laughs> when I started, so everybody remembers David Dance, but remember. they don't remember why he was dancing, <laughs> right? Remember the part. So, yeah, it's not only you, don't worry. <laughs> so he was dancing because the Ark of the Covenant had returned to Israel after being uh -huh. gone for a really long time. So it was a, a celebration of... of of, of something special returning oh. to, to his people. So in the context, again, it's about celebrating something. It's, it might not be uh, the same oil or, or the anointing, but uh -huh. we, we, it's definitely the oil, right? And it's, it'll usher in a new age for Guyana's development. And that's what this entire vibe is about. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's also, David is a unique character uh, when you look at his entire history. And uh, a lot of the principles... He was able to innovate. In order to reach the, the, the heights that he reached, he had to innovate. He couldn't use Saul's armor. He couldn't use a lot of the, the traditional uh, methods. And uh, he created something that was different, and he won his battles. Did you get any influence from your visits to Israel? Because I saw you and your family in the you church. You follow me a lot, man. <laughs> you were in Israel. I was in Israel two years ago. All right. And I was telling someone, it's such a beautiful place. It is. Like you think about Israel from what you see on the TV. Mm -hmm. You're thinking this is just war with Israel and the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. But when you touch down in Israel, it is such a beautiful place and a whole lot of influence. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. The food tastes good. and there's actually... I was telling them that. It's the only place mm -hmm. you can pick up any dish and it tastes really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And there's even the next um, trip going this year oh, nice. Holy Land tour I think this is the largest contingent going to Israel again it's probably around 50 or 60 people going this oh. year um, but uh, yeah Israel being there and seeing the I, I don't even know how to talk about it but there's a lot of stuff you have to see it for yourself mm -hmm. to experience and to understand the Bible in a different way yeah because it's 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 not it's about bringing the Bible to life when you go there and you see places like Jericho and you see see where he was buried and, and you mm -hmm. see this kind of stuff it's a it's a different kind of experience yeah. it's not something i could just simply verbalize but when everyone eventually goes to israel you'll be able to see and and your faith will be increased because you are actually able to experience something that's different so check out the holy land tour yeah we're gonna hear your new track right now it's called david dance electric car just pull that one up then we come back just after and have a little chit chat to wrap this up this is a david dance coming out of martin messiah tell us about uh, your singing name again ma ma <laughs> Let's go select a car. By the time it hits the street, we already played it. Music. 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 Music.
week on HJ94 oh, number Christian one. Dancers. If you need your breakthrough right now, I step to dance. Come to the front. Praise God in a different style. King David, watch your boy Lady David dance. King David, Christian David. My daughter pouring on me love Grateful for the goodness of the father up above yeah. Mama need a breakthrough Papa need a breakthrough Make me need a breakthrough I'm a need a breakthrough King David Watch your boy with the David dance King David Christian with the David now nah, hey. King David From the top selector coil King David, watch your boy with the David dance. King David, Christian David, David dance. Hey. King David, watch your boy with the David dance. King David, Christian David, David dance. Hey. Worship without limits, my Lord pouring on me love. Grateful for the goodness of the Father up above. Yeah. Mama need a breakthrough, Papa need a breakthrough. Give you that good Afro vibe. Yeah, Afro full Afro vibe. That's all about your vibes. Dancing. Yeah, man. I really like this one. Once you enjoy it, man. Very catchy. Uh-huh. Watch out, why would he do it? Hopefully, um, y'all are able to do it on the road. Um, <laughs> Mashermani. Yeah, word. for Mashermani, yeah, Carnival, everything. <laughs> everything. Uh-huh. It's got a really nice beat. What, what made you uh, uh, choose that genre sort of music uh, to uh, put your track out? So it was about being distinctive, right? Uh-huh. In Guyana, we produce great reggae, we produce great uh, worship music, great soca, but. I wanted to create something that was different. Yeah. Or I wanted to bring something that was a little different to Ghana. And I realized like a lot of the people in Ghana, like who are who are black, consider mm. themselves black and not African, right? I was the same thing. Mm. Until I realized that there was an important connection to be made between our history and who we are today. Yeah. And it, it's not just about the poor side of Africa, it's not just about about slavery and suffering. There's actually a rich heritage behind there. Uh-huh. And this is my attempt to make that connection. And shout out to um Akda for uh for, for shining that light, you know. So I could see that there's a connection between uh, who we are in Guyana and the continent. It's a really good song. A lot of DJs are going to be loving it. I think they'll be dancing like David Dance too. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so you're definitely going to hear it spinning more on the radio. And so, uh, so you told me this is not the only song that it's coming yeah. out as part of this project. Uh-huh. It's a major project you're undertaking. It, it's a major project. So I'll uh, just hint at another song and another collaboration. Uh-huh. So uh, firstly, we had Journey that over the Christmas season, Within 19 days, it hit 100,000 views on Facebook. Yeah. It's our biggest song that we've ever done online. And uh, next month, we're going to really be bringing um, David Dance to Facebook. Right okay. now, it's on YouTube, so check it out. But a um, uh, big shout out to the Ministry of Social Cohesion for collaborating with us on the Media Accelerator project. It's going to help to bring... Uh, it's going to help to bring Guyanese culture to the world in a couple of different ways. There's going to be a, a big docu-series uh, featuring people from Big Red to Jomo to Saiku to Princess Vanessa from the East Coast. Like we have people from all over Guyana who are willing to come, come on and collaborate. And yeah. we have interviews in helicopters. We have interviews in a rice field. We have everywhere, mm. everywhere you can think <laughs> about that we're able to get to within that period. To really showcase filming. Guyana. We're going to showcase Guyana and as much culture. as we can. Yeah, so definitely come out. Uh, come out for that and yeah we also have a couple other 
cool tunes that we're dropping. Big up to AJ uh, over the river. That's the guy that mm-hmm. is producing a bunch of our music. And uh, we also have a stable of artists. Uh, me, Church Boy Shaki's in New York pushing off, uh, helping us to reach a, yeah. a large audience over there. We have Millennial King. We have uh, Guy Beige. A guy needs to be an accent. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we have a lot of cool <laughs> stuff coming up. It's a really, really good track, and I hope you'll be jo- jo- uh, coming back to 94 number one on Jumpstart to drop those other tracks uh, Definitely. right here in us. All right, thanks a lot, Martin Masai, for bringing this one for us this morning. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Back to the top selector call, the tape for dance. When the time it hits the street, we already play more new music on HJ 94 number one. Come to the front. King David, watch out why you David dance. King David, fresh on the way David dance. Hey. King David, watch out why you David dance. King David, fresh on the way David dance. Hey. Worship without limits, my Lord pouring on me love. Grateful for the goodness of the Father up above. Yeah. Mama need a breakthrough, Papa need a breakthrough. Turn it to all across Canada. That is a David dance. Check it out on YouTube and check out that project. Follow Martin Messiah on YouTube and Facebook for more information. At 8:32, it is time for our then and now segment here at 94 number one. Thanks a lot, Martin. Have a good one.